It tells me when I'm broadcasting myself. I forgot to turn off my notifications. That's funny, I didn't know that. What is going on everybody? I'm cold blooded. And this is Sawmill 101. So basically what I'm gonna be covering is pretty much everything you guys need to know about the sawmills, including um, some tips and tricks and debunking some myths also. I can get this thing to sit. Okay. So this is the first sawmill. It's the most basic, the shabby sawmill. Uh, it's like 160, I think. So the max length on all of them is 10 units long. But this one, the max width, is only 1.4 units. So the main reason why I'm making this is to show you guys how much the value of your wood will increase when you process it through sawmills. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to process a bunch of different wood. And uh, this one is one by one unit already. As you can see, that's a one by one unit long um, plank of spook. So I'm going to process this down so it's a perfect cube, or it's close. It's pretty much impossible to get them perfect, but I'm going to do as best I can. So I went ahead and built this ruler. Uh, oh, I suck now at this. Okay, sorry if you guys heard my dog right there. So that's close. Um, it'll be close enough for you guys to see the difference in value. And then let me cut this down. Okay. Now let's load this in the truck and then we'll go sell it so you guys can see the difference. I just don't want to get them mixed up when I'm driving there in the truck. The main one we're going to want to remember is the unprocessed one. So I'm at $800 is the final three digits. So let's see what we get for this. $2. Now let's see what we get processed. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, so that's ten dollars. So you guys can see that I already multiplied it by four. That's that's pretty good. Um, the only reason why I say four, I know it's actually five, but if you run a bunch of the one by one unit pieces, you're not always going to get two out of it. Sometimes you'll only get one. I'll cut another one so you guys can see. I'm going to feel real stupid if it gives me two again. Um, the reason being is it doesn't show it to you, but I was testing it out. And if the piece isn't big enough, it's not just going to give you the the dollar for the piece of wood. It'll do it like it's a, if it's change. But anyways, let's open up another sawmill. So we know it's 10 for the shabby sawmill. Let's try the next one up. Oh yeah, this one, the max width is 1.6. So it's 0.2 bigger, it's not a huge difference. And this one cost 11,000, no, 1,600, not 11,000, I'm sorry. So that's 1,600 for that sawmill. Okay, That's a little under, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll be able to see the difference in the price when we sell it. What is up, Kevin? I've had that Price is Right song stuck in my head all day. I know it's you, Toxic. Okay, so let's see. That's going to give us... Oh, that gave us two again. I look stupid now. Um, okay, so we're at 14 now. Let's see what the next cell mill up will give us for a one unit of this. Okay, that gave us 10 again. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> 
right? They, they are all the same. See, so when I started playing the game, uh, I looked it up to see what the difference was between summons. My understanding was from what I found that with each sawmill, the value of the piece of wood you process will increase. It was supposed to be, the only two numbers I remember is the first one was supposed to multiply it by two, which it didn't, and multiplied it by more. And the biggest one was supposed to multiply it times eight. this one up and maybe I'll put it in the passenger seat or I'll just try to drive in and watch them okay okay so I forgot to tell you guys this but this one the max diameter is two units and the saw max 2.0 is 2.6 that's the max width Hopefully this will stay here. It should because I'm not going far. Okay. So this is the eleven thousand dollar sawmill. I forgot what that one's called. But let's see, I'm at thirty nope, that's only ten two. Wow. This is gonna suck. this okay so apparently they all multiply the wood by the same value only real benefit would be um, it's easier to process your wood so if you're just starting off and you don't mind going for trees that fit in there um, you could get a, so there's a lot of cherry wood that will fit you just won't be able to get like the thicker trunks cherry wood is the more valuable of the woods down here not including um, why can't I think of that wood? The white wood. I can't think of the name of it right now. Uh, do you know the name of it just offhand? Why can't I? I'm, blank, I'm going blank right here. Okay. Um, a little trick. If <clears throat> you guys are processing wood and you notice that it doesn't start processing at all time, it'll spit them out the same way it goes in. What you can do is go up to the back of the sawmill and push it back in and hold it there till it takes it. It will take a while, but it usually does. Unless this one's too long. I don't think it is. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. No, it's under ten units, so it should take it. Yes. Well, it's okay. That way they know already. Like, they can see this for evidence. Because there are articles that say that they increase the value of the wood. So, I mean, here's video proof that it doesn't. So, um... If any of you guys need any of these three sawmills, uh, let me know and I will give them to you because I don't, I don't really need them. Okay. Um, one more tip is if the piece of wood is too big to fit into the sawmill, somebody's loading their base like this. What you can do is pick up the sawmill, press move, drag the piece of wood into where it would be, press B to quit moving it, 
and it should take it and start processing it like that um that comes in real handy for like red wood blue wood um some of the end times wood basically any of the woods that you can get really large trunks off of that way you could process them and have really nice big pieces of them um, pumpkins people still think pumpkins multiply the value of the wood and they don't I'll run some pieces through for you guys right now so you can see This one's still processing. Should be just about done. Do, do, do. There it is. Thanks, Jess. Okay. Okay. Well, that other one is processing. I'll cut this. If I could line it up. About one unit. Get rid of this, put it through. Okay. Now let's go sell them real quick. Don't want to crash like that. <laughs> Why do you want a sucky song waffles? You have a good song. Okay. So okay, we're at 44. So this should still take us to 54. And it does. Same thing for this one. So, as you guys can see, the pumpkins clearly do not increase the value of the wood. And I think the last thing I have to show you guys, um, I can't actually show you here, but if you've ever gone into a lobby and you see that somebody's base is, like, has this giant green like ball of light around it, that's coming from the sawmills. What you do to fix that, if it's your own sawmill, or you can ask somebody else to do it if it's just bothering you, is you click on it again, you press move, and then you just quit the move, and that'll fix that that glowing. And that's pretty much everything about sawmills. I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't increase the value of the wood because it's what I've thought this whole time. But um, it doesn't hurt to actually try it out yourself, and now we know for sure. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, that's it. Thanks to everybody for watching, and have a nice night.